Okay, so the next topic of your MPS cements is the the landforms that are formed due to the erosion agents like running water, then river, then glacier, wind, then and the uh, waves. Okay, so we will start with the directly. We will move to the uh, uh, erosional landforms that have been formed due to running waters. Okay, so landforms that have been formed due to running waters. That we will see. So many of the questions in your NPC means they have been asked from this <coughs> topic. Okay, two to three questions are there in your main topic regarding this topic. Okay, so let us start with this uh, topic. Okay, so landforms. We are now moving towards the topic that is the erosional landforms that have been formed from the different erosional agents. Okay, so. so landforms formed from running water or we can call it as a river or a stream okay so landforms that are formed from a running water so basically first try to understand that the landforms that are formed there are several erosional agents that are working on a landscapes okay and give rise to broadly two types of landforms so which are these erosional agents first of all so which are the erosional agents that are working on landscapes so which are the erosional agents so there are the main important one which is global one is a river okay or you can also call it as a running water second is the wind which is predominantly seen in the desert area arid or semi arid areas okay third is the glaciers mainly constrain themselves to the uh, polar regions or the highland regions then fourth that is the waves they restrict themselves to the coastal landform so mainly river is acting as a global erosional agent out of this whatever the landforms are there the other landform is there that is of underground underground water that is running water okay underground running water so these are the several landforms that are there out of this the river or the running water it forms a global uh, it works on a global scale and forms a, and give rise to a landform that are been uh, <clears throat> called as a running water landforms or the river landforms that are been formed and basically broadly these landforms they are been categorized into two forms categorized into two forms one is called as an erosional landforms erosional landforms and the other is called as a any i mean so i am talking about all the erosional agents okay broadly they are being categorized all these erosional agents they give rise to a two types of landforms okay not only i am talking about the running water but all the erosional agents they give rise to or broadly two two types of landforms one is called as a erosional landform and the other is called as a depositional landform okay all the erosional agents they will give rise to these two types of landforms okay what are erosional landforms those that are formed due to erosional activities erosional activities carried out by the erosional agent carried carried out by the erosional agent it can be an any ero erosional agents which is giving rise to an erosional activity and the landform the product or the consequent uh, what we call as the eventual landform that has been formed is called as an erosional landform and what is depositional landform whatever the eroded material is there it will get transported by the erosional agent and will get deposited somewhere else okay so the landform that are formed by this weathered material the deposited landforms that are formed by the depositions of this eroded material landforms formed due to deposition of due to deposition of deposition of weathered material is called as depositional landforms okay so broadly you should be <clears throat> you know the difference between the erosional lands landform or the landscape and the depositional landforms of the landscape okay 
so all the erogenous activity uh, all the erogenous agents they carry out these two activities okay only thing is that which uh, activities predominant where it will depend upon the uh, location the slope which is acting on uh, the slope over which these landforms have been uh, taking place especially for the river the slope is there okay <clears throat> So it will depend upon the several erogenous agents, uh, other factors. So which activity will be predominant? Where? Okay, fine. So first we will start with the first activity, first erogenous agent that is called as a running water erogenous agent or the river landforms that have been formed by the running water. Okay. So first we will try this. Okay. So in your MPSC mains and even on, even in your MPSC prelims. Okay. The questions on these topics are consistently been asked. Okay. Okay. So first we will form the landforms that are formed from the running water, or shortly the landforms that are formed from by the river. Okay. Now let us see. As I told you, river course. The river course which start from the origin. Okay, from the source area, and it drains the landform. And meet when, when it meets the uh, ocean or the sea, we call it as a mouth of a river. So from source to the mouth of a river, we call it as a course of a river. We call it as a total course of a river. And this course already I have discussed with you. This course have been broadly divided into three uh, three parts. We call it as an upper course. Okay, basically it is restricted. Upper course is mainly composed of the all the mountain and the valley topography. Okay, which uh, over which this river flow. Okay, once the river comes out from the foothills of mountains. Okay, it drains, and still the erosional activity is there. Till then, it is called as a middle course. Here, the uh, in the uh, low middle course, both the erosional activity and the depositional activity will be simultaneously taking places. Okay, but at the uh, upper course. Predominantly, predominantly, it will be the uh, erosional activity that will be dominating one. Okay, it will be the dominating uh, activity that will be there in the upper course. In the middle course, simultaneously, erosional and depositional activity will be there. And at the lower course, in the lower course, predominantly, it will be only and only a depositional means predominant means only and depositional activity that will be carried out in the lower courses. And in these courses, the landforms that have been formed, both of the ero erosion type and the deposition type, we will discuss in this lecture. Okay. So let us come. So as I told you, what is catchment area? The river catchment area. This is an area. This is a, this is an highland region. Highland region or an area where maximum rainfall is happen where. Maximum rainfall happens, which give rise to several streams to originate. Okay, and from where the several streams, a small stream, which we we call it as a rivulets, when they join unitedly, it give rise to a one single stream, which we call it as a master stream. And we say it is the source of a master stream. Okay, so catchment area is basically is the source of a master stream or the origin stream where the maximum amount of rainfall is taking place. So where where this uh, where the catchment areas are located? Basically, these catchment areas are located at the highland regions. Highland regions means what? It can be a mountain in terrain. It can be high high plateaus. Okay. So these are the uh, 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 landscapes where the catchment area is located. Why? And what is the characteristic feature of this catchment area? That maximum amount of rainfall is here that has been uh, fall over this region. Okay. So you got with the catchment area. So now from the catchment area or from the source area, okay, the river started journey. Okay, it starts its journey from the source, and it moves. till it reaches to the sea we call it as a mouth of a river okay so this is a source and this is a mouth of a river or the where it 
meet with the sea we call it as the mouth of a river this complete from source to mouth of a river till it drains to the sea we call it as a total course of a river it is called as a total course of a river while flowing from the landscape as i told you the river performs some task okay it performs some task what are these task there are two important task that have been performed okay the first and the foremost task that is been performed is the eroding it is the eroding task and specifically the eroding task is it is been performed at the upper course in a predominant manner means it is a more intensive manner okay and in the middle course also some erosional activity takes place okay now what it the erosional activity is what it erodes the landscape or the landform okay it erodes the landform and also it carried out the weathered material that is been that is been the product of the weathering okay now this weathered material is carried out by the erosional agent like river okay now these weathered material they are acting as a tool they are acting as a tool for the river to further erosion to takes place at the bed level that is called as a river bed and at the side level which we call it as a river banks okay so this weathered material or they, this weathered material in the form of small pebbles cobbles or even a big rocks okay the solutions that that has been soluble in water then the suspension part uh, suspension materials okay all these are acting as a weathered tool for the river to carry out the further erosional activities okay at its base also we call it as a river bed and to at it, to the side walls also of the river we call it as a bank okay so these are been carried out so basically the weathered material act as a tool water do not has a the pure water do not has a capacity to erode any landform but these tools which it carried with it we call it as a load try to understand what is load the river which is carrying out the weathered material in various size and shape is called as a load of a river what we call it we call it as a load load means what the weathered material of various size and shape right from a small suspended particle of a weathered material to a big rock which is rolling all these forms a load of a river okay and which it carries okay so you got with the load you call you got with the you means get what familiar with the course action so now come uh, just so uh, bifurcating this load we can bifurcate this load into various types okay how the loads the river is carried the river carries with it okay so what is this so basically the load which the river carry is of several type okay so which are those types several the load which carry the types of loads the river carry types of loads the river carry okay are of several type the first one is in the form of solution this is one form those minerals which are easily dissolved in water in the river water they are been carried by the river in the form of solution virgana re okay hmm? the second load which is carried by the river is in the form of suspension suspension form the river the river water which the mineral could not get soluble in that water but which can be carried in a suspended form okay like small uh, the small size material like the sand okay the silt the clay which do not dissolve in water but they are moving with the river water in a suspended manner okay the mud okay mud is there all these they have been they are flowing in a, in water in a suspended form okay so such a material is called as a material of suspension those which get dissolved in water is called as material of solution and the last material which it carries with it is of traction form is of traction form now you know those weathered material 
which the river could not carry with it in a suspended form means the river do not have a capacity to carry it in a tarangat form manje tarangat ne neta they can the river carry this weather material in a rolling form okay manje ek to roll karat jane okay je big boulder se big rock se je ki suspended form madhe ek to tela carry karta yet nahi hai ओके तर ते कसे करतात ते रोल कॅरी करतात म्हणजे पाण्याचा प्रवाह एवढा तीव्र असतो की बिग रॉक्स ऑल्सो कॅन गेट कॅरीड विथ इट इन अ रोलिंग फॉर्म ओके सच अ टाइप ऑफ मटेरियल इज कॉल्ड एज अ मटेरियल ऑफ ट्रॅक्शन दे आर कॉल्ड एज अ बिग बोल्डर्स आर देअर बिग बोल्डर्स ऑफ बिग रॉक्स विच द रिव्हर कॅरी इन अ रोलिंग फॉर्म सच दीज आर द्री टाइप्स ऑफ लोड विच द रिव्हर कॅरी विथ इट ओके इन अ सोल्युशन फॉर्म इन अ सस्पेन्शन फॉर्म अँड इन अ traction form okay fine any doubt still now hello okay fine so now moving ahead so now basically let me tell you first Okay, I will love this. Now, whatever the load which the river carries, it depends upon this uh, carrying capacity of a river. The load carrying capacity of a river depends upon first slope, second volume of water it carries, volume of water it carries, and the third one is the velocity. velocity of a running water okay so these are the things these are the factors on which the load carrying capacity of a river depends now i will uh, discuss each and every thing in a brief okay slope slope basically the river which is flowing on a high land even though the volume of a water will be less initially okay whenever the river get originated there was the river ka aste choti aste ani volume evda nasto but what but the slope over which the river is flowing at the initial stage okay the slope is steep one which provide it a velocity which provide it's a velocity and even though the volume is less than that time the velocity that is provided by the slope of a landscape uh, of a landform will make the river to originate or to carry a load even even of its uh more sizes okay म्हणजे तिची कॅरिंग कॅपॅसिटी जरी एक म्हणजे व्हॉल्युम ऑफ वॉटर कमी जरी असला ओके वॉटरचा व्हॉल्युम कमी जरी असला पण स्लोपने काय होतं स्लोपने व्हेलॉसिटी प्रोव्हाइड करते त्या रनिंग वॉटरला आणि त्यामुळे तिची एक तर कॅरिंग कॅपॅसिटी ऑफ अ लोड इन्क्रीज होऊन जाते ओके म्हणजे ती तिच्या एक तर व्हॉल्युम व्हॉल्युम ऑफ वॉटर पेक्षा ती जास्त लोड एक तर त्यावेळेस कॅरी करू शकते म्हणजे तिच्या कॅरिंग कॅपॅसिटी पेक्षा पण जास्त लोड कॅरी करू शकते का कारण व्हेलॉसिटी ऑफ वॉटर दॅट इज प्रोव्हाइडेड बाय द स्लोप is able to make it happen you got this okay then second is that as it moves forward the tributaries the river which uh, the tributaries that join the main river makes it a more volume of water make the river volume the main river vol, uh, water volume is increased okay and that makes the river to carry a large amount of weathered material with itself okay so it is vice versa let me tell you so even the, if the velocity of a water decreased okay if the, sorry if the velocity of a running water is decreased the carrying capacity of the water also the carrying capacity of a uh, river also get uh, decrease okay and wherever and wherever the river the velocity get decrease those material which the river could not carry with it will get deposited okay same is about volume also they are i mean they have been related if the volume of water is large the river has a cap capacity to carry more than uh, the river has a capacity to carry large amount of load with it okay but if the volume of a water is less and the velocity is also less okay that time if the velocity is also less so that time it will carry only those material which it can carry with it okay more uh, large amount of means the big size uh, material will get deposit okay hello hello ऐकू येते हॅलो हॅलो 
ओके ओके फाइन ओके सो दिस इज द रिलेशनशिप मीन्स वॉट स्लो प्रोवाइड वेलोसिटी एंड इवन दैट द वॉल्यूम इज लेस द कैरिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ द रिवर गेट्स इनक्रीज ओके लार्ज वॉल्यूम ऑफ वॉटर विल प्रोवाइड रिवर विद दी to carry a large amount of load with it okay if the volume becomes less uh, if the volume is less and the velocity is also less the river start depositing the material okay so this is the relationship between the slope volume of water and a velocity okay what this any doubt till now okay just a minute now let us see okay okay let us see whatever the load that is carried with it now load you know load manje kay the weather material in various size and shape okay which the river carry with it okay now the load that the river carry with it has to perform the several activities as i told you this load is acting as a tool for the river to erode the material okay more erosion can be possible only when the tool the river which it carried with it is there in the river okay now what are the process or what are the process that are that are been carried out process involve in running water the erosional process we will see the erosional process that are been involved in the running water what which are the erosional processes the first is corrosion it is a corrosion it is also called as abrasion this is the first erosional process or this is one type of erosional process that is present in the running water or the running water uh, performs okay what is corrosion it is just try to understand what is corrosion or abrasion it is a mechanical grinding a mechanical grinding of river of river traction load river traction ata river traction tumhala maiti traction load manje kay jo roll hote okay mechanical grinding of river traction load against bank and bank against bank of a river bank of a river and bed of a river bed of a river got this so corrosion means what mechanical grinding as i told you traction is one form of a load which river carry what do you mean by traction the big boulders which the river could not carried in a suspended form are been rolled by the river along with its water okay and when this big boulders when they are running or uh, they are moving along with this running water what they do they create a friction with the bed of the rivers and with the banks of the rivers okay so basically this corrosion process it takes place in two forms okay one is in a lateral form and another one is in a vertical form in a lateral form the corrosion or the tractions the traction loads erodes erodes the side walls of a river side walls of a river we call it as a bank okay we call it as a bank side walls of a river we call it as a bank okay what does it mean it increases the river uh what we call it as a uh, area okay we, it increases the lateral erosion what we says okay the lateral erosion tries to widen the tries to widen the river area okay vertical erosion what it does again the traction loads the traction load erode the bed bed we call it as a base base of the river bed of a river what does it mean that here valley digging 
और वैली डिगिंग इज पॉसिबल ओके वैली डिगिंग और वैली द डेप्थ ऑफ द वैली इज इंक्रीज विच ट्राई टू गिव अ रिवर वी शे पैलिस ओके सो वर्टिकल इरोजन इन शॉर्ट से इन शॉर्ट इट गिव राइज टू अ वी शेप वैलीज लैटरल इरोजन विल गिव राइज टू अ वैली वाइडनिंग प्रोसेसेस यू गॉट दिस सो कोरोजन हैपन्स इन दिस मैन ओके सो दिस इज वन कोरोजन इज दैर ओके देन द नेक्स्ट वन इज दीन्स इन शॉर्ट लैटरल मीन्स वॉट वॉट एवर द वी शेप वैली हैज बीन डन यपोज डिगिंग वैली डिगिंग मीन्स it is increasing in a vertical manner valley digging means v shape valley is been dig here vertical erosion will be there means the base will be eroded more than the uh, banks okay and in the lateral digging the base uh, will be eroded less than the lateral digging and valley widening will be possible valley widening is taking place okay valley widening is taking place okay this side this type okay valley widening is taking place by lateral erosion okay so these are the two forms of corrosion or abrasion okay what this okay this is the first process then come to the next process the process that is erosional uh, the next process involved in the erosional process involved in the running water is the second one is called as a corrosion कोरेजन होते सी ओ आर ए एस आई ओ एन सी ओ डबल आर ए एस आई ओ एन दैट वॉज कॉल्ड एज अ कोरेजन कोरेजन मीन्स वॉज द ट्रैक्शर रबिंग दी बेड एंड द बैंक्स ऑफ द रिवर ओके कोरेजन मीन्स वॉट कोरेजन इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज सोल्यूशन इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज सोल्यूशन नाउ यू कैन रियलाइज द मीनिंग ऑफ इट दैट इट इज अ केमिकल एक्शन ऑफ अ वॉटर केमिकल एक्शन एज आई टोल यू दोज मिनरल्स विच कैन डिजॉल्व इन वॉटर okay so that dissolved chemical it turns into a solution it turns into a solution the dissolved material when it get soluble in water it turns into a solution and that solution will act as a chemical agent and that chemical agent will cause an action it will cause an action that action of a water that solution or the, the solution of a water will cause an action on on soluble those material that can be soluble or partly soluble partly soluble partly soluble rock with which with which the river comes in contact the river comes in contact what does it mean that the river the river that the river that carries the water it will it will uh, act on a soluble material by by carrying out a chemical reaction okay and that soluble material will get it may be in the form of completely soluble or partly soluble okay and that soluble material will be dissolved in water when the river water comes in contact with this material and that will loosen the rock if this process is there carrying out that will loosen the rock of that land forms okay and this will helpful in carrying out the erosional activity okay so this is the second corrosion corrosion means solution okay soluble form of the third one is the third one is the okay got this shall i rub this third one is the is the yeah okay fine third one is the attrition okay this is the attrition is there so now try to understand attrition means what as i told you the load carried by the river is of different shape and size okay while this load is causing the friction over the river bed and the river bank at the same times at the same time simultaneously the load is also getting friction means friction means what 
they are getting rub to each other the weathered material is getting rub by each other that rubbing okay or the friction that has been caused between the weathered material is called as an attrition it is called as an attrition ते बघा अॅब्रेजन कळालं तुम्हाला इट इज द वेदर्ड मटेरियल दॅट इज इरोडिंग दी बेड अँड दँक्स बट अॅट्रिशन मध्ये काय होतं की ती वेदर्ड मटेरियल स्वतःच्याच म्हणजे जे काही मटेरियल जे असतात ते स्वतः मध्ये एक इरे दे आर बीन रबिंग इट सेल्फ ओके दे आर कॉजिंग एन इरोजन विद इन दॅम सेल्फ ऑल्सो ओके सच अ वेअरिंग अँड टेअरिंग ऑफ अ मटेरियल दॅट इज बीन कॅरी द वेदर्ड मटेरियल दॅट इज बीन कॅरीड विथ इट इज कॉल्ड ऍज अन अॅट्रिशन ओके अॅट्रिशन म्हणजे काय वेअरिंग or tearing of the transported of the transported material themselves wearing and tearing of the transported material themselves when they themselves when they roll when they roll or collide or collide into one another into one another into one another so this process is called as an attrition what this this process is called as an attrition okay so this is a third process that is involved in the erosional activity okay or the erosional process of a running water and the fourth one is the hydraulic action hydraulic action what does it mean it is a sorry it is the hydraulic action is is the mechanical loosening it is the mechanical loosening mechanical loosening and sweeping and sweeping as double e huh? it is double e as double as w double e as w double e sweeping away sorry just as w double e p i n g sweeping away of material of material by the river itself by the river itself please try to understand what is this means whatever the weathered material is the mechanical loosening and sweeping means what that the river the water river water and the material that the tools it carries it is causing <coughs> a hydraulic action it is causing a force or a pressure on the banks and the uh, or the beds of the river which is making the landforms rock loosen one okay and that mechanical action that is loosening of a rock or the weathered material that is been swept away by the river itself that action is called as an hydraulic action it is called as an hydraulic action so these are the four processes that are involved in by uh, in the running water uh, okay these are the erosional processes that are involved in the running water to carry out the erosional processes okay what this okay any doubts hmm? now moving for uh, okay so let's move forward now now let's start with the proper landform forming process uh, the uh, landforms that are dealing with it okay running water okay so which are the landforms that are dealing with it now as i told you landforms that are formed on the as i told you the river course is divided into three uh, types that is the upper the middle and the lower course so first we will see the upper course we will see the upper course and what activity here it is being performed upper course or a mountain course also it is also called as a mountain course wherever the river right from its origin till draining the complete mountains okay till it drains or deal it flow in the mountains it is called as an upper course okay now here i will try to first just see 
what is the activity that is carried here the vertical erosion here what is the characteristic feature of the upper course of a river okay here the vertical erosion is more here the vertical erosion is more than the horizontal erosion or the lateral erosion we can call it horizontal erosion or the lateral erosion okay here vertical erosion is more than the horizontal erosion first as i told you second is that erosional is predominant erosional activity is predominant there is no any depositional activity that is taking place only erosional activity is predominant these are the characteristic features of the upper course right from the source it's the river it's originate okay so vertical erosion is more than the horizontal erosion due to this phenomena due to vertical erosion here valley deepening will be there and will give rise to a important landform that is called as a v shaped valleys v shaped valleys so the first landform that is being eroded it is the erosional landform the erosional landform that is being created is the v shape valleys okay those where in the dry regions where the river flow rather than v shape valleys there have been these gorges that are being created gorges that are being created okay gorge that is being created like the the gorge that is been created in the dry areas okay where the river flows okay the uh, sorry uh, sorry uh, sorry just uh, please correct it in the drier areas okay where the river flows the, rather than v shaped valley there are the small uh, similar to v shaped valleys there are the landforms that are being created are called as a canyons they are being called as a canyons okay so the another erosional landform that is being created is canyons the classic example of canyons is a grand canyon grand canyon that is been created by the colorado river colorado river which is flowing in the west part of the america in the arizona in arizona wagari that rivers so uh, that regions so colorado river that has been flowing from the semi arid and arid region of arizona it is created a canyon so which are the erosional activity it, it has created v shaped valleys canyons or it can create a gorge it can create a gorge it can create a gorge gorge means what here it is valley we call it as a v shape gorge is of h shape gorge is of h shape valley is of v shape okay so gorge this is a difference between a valley and a gorge so gorge right from the top to the bottom level it will be of uniform size okay it will be eroded in a uniform manner and it will create a shape which is of h shape okay such a type of valley is called as a gorge okay the kaveri river has created a gorge in the brahmagiri hills okay where it is flowing okay so v shaped valleys are there grand canyons are there gorges are there all these are the landform that are created by the erosional activity in the upper course okay erosional activity in the upper course got this hmm? so the first landform due to erosional activity or the eroding landform that is formed is of either it will be a v shaped valleys it can be a canyons or it can be a gorge what this okay then moving ahead as the river flowing in the mountain and terrain only okay and the as you know the mountain and terrains are not they are not in a uni, uh, the platform is not of a uniform type or not a flat platform okay if just a minute if i will rub this okay till it is in upper course okay and when the river that is flowing in upper course flows over the landscape where alternate hard and soft rock has been the alternate the landform is formed from the alternate hard and a soft rock okay when the river that is flowing from suppose this is i will just just draw it out okay suppose the river is flowing in this area terrain 
okay this river is flowing okay and suppose this river is flowing this is a soft rock is there this is the hard rock is there this is a soft rock is there and this is a hard rock is there as the river that is flowing over this terrain okay what it will happen as i know as i told you that the tool will act in a on the bed also and the bank also but uh, initially it will acting on a bed uh, especially on a bed okay so when these are acting the river beds when they have been uh, eroded the soft rock will be get easily eroded the soft rock will get easily eroded okay okay this eroded will be there but the hard rock won't be eroded uh, you know not they won't be get easily eroded and that's why an undulating topography will be created undulating suppose this is a soft rock and this is a hard rock that is lying in between suppose one second this is a soft rock and this is a hard rock that is lying between so there is an unequal undulating platform that is being created over which this river is been flowing which jump which creates uh, which makes the river to flow uh, to jump at a hard rock causing it leading it to form a rapids or a cataract or a cataracts okay this is another landform that is being created on the upper course rapids and cataracts okay manje river jeva ek itun vahat aste tyavels ek tar samja hard rock ala tar dutadi mar dutadi manje udi marne jumping okay itun karan ka undulating landform prayar tayar zalela hai okay and due to this jumping of a river it is due to why because of the undulating platform that is been present over this landform over which this river is flowing okay and this landform those landforms that have been eroded okay it has been eroded uh, in an unequal manner okay because of the alternate uh, lying of a soft and a hard rock over which okay so this has created an another landform that is called as a cataract or a rapids okay so these are the another type of erosional landform that has been created in an upper course cataracts and rapids okay fine any doubts yes any doubts are there okay so which uh, till now how many erosional landforms you have seen please list it down apa course madhe konte konte erosional landform bagitle tumhi please list it down Number five. What happened? No, no, no. Uh, please give the names. Which landforms here? Uh, they have been there. Past the peak. Even which 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 landforms? It? Name it. Upper course. Madhe which 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 landforms? May I tell you? Malatta parantha original landforms. And all of these, all these are the original landforms. very good very good hema hmm? bishapalis canyons gorges very good then cataract is there very good and rapids very good very good okay so till then in the upper course you got this landform okay moving any, again over in the upper course only we are there okay sometimes when the river which is flowing over the terrain where you see a sudden drop in the slope sudden drop in the slope sudden drop in the slope of a river okay the river that is flowing over this area okay suppose this is an area is there and there is a sudden drop of a slope is there there is an break in a slope okay break in a slope means what there is a sudden drop in a slope okay break in a slope which makes the river to fall from the upper landscape to the lower landscape okay and along with this river there are the weather material that are also getting dropped from upper landscape to the lower landscape which cause a friction over this okay to this over the lower landscape which erode this part okay which erode this part and recede this part to give rise to just to tell you to give rise to a 
to give rise to a this is a uh, this is a part which is called as a plunge pool plunge pools okay plunge pools so this is once again a, another uh, landform that is being created that is a plunge pool which is created due to the waterfalls of a river where the river from the upper stream flows or drops over the lower land along with this weather material this weather material where it drops creates a initially it creates a small hole okay and later on this hole get expanded giving rise to a large uh, depressions we call it as a plunge pool okay and the other landform and the other breakdown where the breakdown is there okay when a river plunges down in a sudden fall of some height we it has given rise to the another landform that is called as a waterfall okay water cal waterfalls are form on in several way okay there are for, they are form in a sudden way some of the waterfalls are formed due to tectonic activities okay for example suppose this was a landforms over which this river was flowing okay but suppose this area that is an area has experienced a subsidence subsidence and this area came has been subsided and is now residing to the lower parts okay so the river that will be flowing over this will give uh, will also will they will experience now a waterfall okay it will now experience a waterfall okay this is of the tectonic type waterfalls are there but some rivers okay some rivers they eroding the landforms they are eroding the landforms which are where the rock in the landforms are arranged in a alternate hard alternate hard and a soft rock अल्टरनेट हार्ड आणि सॉफ्ट रॉक जितो असतो हार्ड रॉक आणि त्याचा खालचा सॉफ्ट रॉक जर असेल ओके अँड ओव्हर विच इट इज फ्लोईंग ओके वॅन इट फॉल्स दि सॉफ्ट रॉक विल गेट इरोडेड मच फास्टर दॅन दि हार्ड रॉक अँड दिस विल क्रिएट्स अ दिस विल क्रिएट्स अ वॉटरफॉल सच अ टाईप ऑफ वॉटरफॉल हॅज बीन क्रिएटेड इन यू एस ए विच इज कॉल्ड ॲज अ नायग्रा फॉल नायग्रा फॉल इज ऑफ इरोजन टाईप ओके okay so this is the niagara fall which is of erodion type is there okay so <clears throat> this fall is been basically created okay faulting activity jo chala taya dale to victoria fall taiyar dale okay niagara fall is created due to erosional activity of a river but uh, faulting activity me jasa mi pehla jo sangitla faulting activity जो तयार झालेला तसा फॉल्ट आहे तो म्हणजे विक्टोरिया फॉल्ट आहे विक्टोरिया फॉल्ट ऑन रिव्हर झॅम्बेझी झॅम्बेझी इज अ रिव्हर इन आफ्रिका ओके वेअर दिस विक्टोरिया फॉल इज देअर इट इज क्रिएटेड ड्यू टी फॉल्टिंग ऍक्टिव्हिटी ओके बट दिस ओके सो दिज आर दि सो वॉट इज विच आर दि टाईप्स ऑफ अप कोर्स मध्ये कोणते कोणते इरोजनल ऍक्टिव्हिटी मध्ये कोणते कोणते अजून तिसरं मी आलं ते म्हणजे waterfall and the third one is the plunge pools okay plunge pools okay before that when the river that is eroding over the surface also okay when this riverding uh, this is a landform is there okay suppose this is a landform is there and this landscapes if there is a soluble material is that which get soluble uh, which get uh, means uh, soluble in water in the running water it creates a potholes it creates a potholes which get increases which get increases this portal get increases okay with the continuous erosion with the continuous erosion so the another type of erosional activity which give rise to a landform is called as a potholes okay pothole is one of the type of landform that is uh, the erosional landform that is being created okay by the in the upper course of the river okay so now you will list down how many landforms that are being created due to erosional activities in the upper course so these are yes we, till now we have seen we have seen the v shape valleys canyons or gorge second is rapids and rapids the motor size madhe jeva is rapids tayar hotat tela apan manto cataract the bigger size of rapid is called as a cataract then third is fourth is waterfall 
once again it is formed from the erosional activity then it is the potholes all these are the erosional landform eroded okay and the sixth one is the plunge pool plunge pool so these are the landforms that have been formed due to erosional activity in the upper course okay any doubts you have yes do you have any doubts okay now then another in the upper course only we are dealing with the upper course only here the vertical erosional activity is predominant as i told you in the erosional activity the vertical erosional activity in the upper course is predominant okay so upper course or the mountain course also we call it as mountain course okay and as i told you what is the characteristic features of the upper course that here the erosional activity is predominant and basically the vertical erosional activity is more predominant than the lateral erosional activity which has given right to several large pops till now whatever we have seen the next landform that is created in the upper course is called as a river terraces river terraces okay what are these river terraces these are what are river terraces first of all these are these are narrow flat surfaces narrow flat surfaces on either side on either side of of the valley valley floor of the valley flows what is the river terraces these are the narrow flat surfaces on the other on the either side of the valley flows okay just try to these are the this is a diagram okay this is called as the river terraces okay suppose similarly here okay this is one same type of step like these are the steps like rivers that are the step like landform that is being created by the rivers what the river is basically is going vertical erosion here on the landscape which has created a uniform uh, on the both the side there may be a uniform or it can be a one sided also okay means they, it can be a uh, the river uh, the river terraces can be of uniform so uh, uniform sides or they can be of ununiform side also means one ek terrace ek to ek side ne asel and dusra terrace ek to dusra step la asel okay this is called as a uniform terraces and the another example if i say that ununiform is there where the river terraces are been eroded not in a uniform form but in an ununiform form the, the original activity is of given okay, suppose this is the uh, and this is somewhere is this is of not uniform form is there okay so this is called as ununiform form here where both the levels means the here in the homogeneous rock here you will see it will be in the homogeneous rock the uniform terraces will be there and in the heterogeneous rock heterogeneous means don geological landscape je asel manje ha landscape jo asel don rock structure ve vega rock structure ni taya dala asel tar erosional activity will also be of different types okay if one is of hard and one another is of soft so that time the hard rock will get resisted uh, will get eroded less than the soft rock okay suppose this is a soft rock and this is a hard rock so itla hard rock jo to resist oil and tamay the steps like they the uniform hona so they are called as ununiform terraces also or uniform terraces but the river terraces are been formed okay got this okay so this is the upper course landform erosional landform that are been present over here got this okay now come to the middle course come to the middle course okay now in the middle course 
as i told you middle course means for where the river comes uh, comes out of the mountain okay middle course sorry middle course okay now or it is also called as a valley course it is also called as a valley course now here as i told you in the upper course because of the steep slopes in the mountain topography the river even though it was not carrying a mass amount of uh, sorry large amount of water or the volume of water was less even then even then the river has a capacity to erode why because the velocity was provided by the slopes and the tools were acting and due to this the vertical digging or the vertical uh, uh, erosion was been more predominant okay now as it as it comes out of the mountain terrain okay at the foothills the river has lost its velocity but at the same time here the river due to the large amount of tributaries that has been joined to the river the volume of water is more now the volume of water is no more and still it has a capacity to erode okay but at the same time but as it has uh, as, I, as i told you the velocity has been re, uh, reduced so what will happen the velocity as it has been uh, reduced the first deposition the first deposition that will play takes place as it will it will uh, the velocity the reduced jalia shale the river will the river will drop that loads river will drop that loads which it could not carry further which it could not carry further that loads will be dropped by the rivers suppose there are some streams i suppose this is a, there is one extreme is there which has comes out of this the foothills okay now so there is an another stream that is being come out okay now in the foothills uh, sorry in the mountain and terrain the river do not have uh, much tributaries why because the terrain do not supports to join the other river to the main river okay it they do not supports okay so that's why the volume is uh, less uh, the volume of water is less but this uh, velocity is more and that's why it carries a large amount of load with it okay but as soon as it comes out of the mountain and it reaches to the foothills okay those loads which are in a traction form which are large loads it will get deposited over here at the foothills of mountains okay here at the foothills of man, mountains those large large i am selling which it could not carry in a means uh, broadly i will say a traction form of loads a traction form of loads will get deposited over here manje boulders wagere je asthil na जे मोटे दगड़ वगैरह असेल जे की आता कॅरी करू शकत नाहीत ओके इट विल गेट डिपॉझिटेड ओव्हर युअर अँड विल गिव्ह राईस टू अ फॅन शेप डिपॉझिशन और कोन शेप डिपॉझिशन विच इज कॉल्ड ॲज अ ॲल्युव्हियल फॅन्स ॲल्युव्हियल फॅन्स और ॲल्युव्हियल कोन्स ॲल्युव्हियल कोन्स सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट डिपॉझिशन दॅट टेक्स प्लेस ओके at the foothills of mountains in the form of large boulders and pebbles okay and such a deposition is called as a alluvial fans or alluvial pools okay got this hmm? the first deposition tumhala mi alam first deposition je landform je mite te konte mite alluvial fans and alluvial pools okay any doubts okay chalo fir the river now it move now it has come over the lands uh, over the flat surface from the mountain tenant now it has reached to a flat surface and the tributaries it can join easily now over the flat surface now here the volume of the water is more okay but the slope is very much gentle very much gentle slope is there very much gentle slope is there and the now the as this as the river is carrying a large amount of volume of water with the gentle slope on which it is flowing okay so what will start the river will start not flowing in a linear manner but in an sinus manner in a sinus manner okay nagmodi okay pan kasa flat land surface mode okay this type of flow of a river in a sinusoidal manner 
is called as a meandering or the zigzag flow of a river zigzag flow of a river is called as a meandering of a river it is called now let me clear here meandering is not a landform ek lakshat gya meandering is not a landform it is neither a erosional landform or a uh, depositional landform it is a characteristic feature of a river it is the characteristic feature of a river that any river when it reaches to a flat surface okay it start rather than moving in a linear manner it start moving in a zigzag manner nagmodi pranani ti ekta vahayla lagte okay karan kay slope jo asto slope slope kayz nasto and tyamoy slope naslyamoy the river do not have a flow in a same direction and it starts moving where the river has been ani jashi ti ekta it has come out of the mountain terrain here the river has a scope to spread now it has a scope to spread because the natural valleys the natural walls that were acting as a uh, hurdle to spread they have been they have been now removed removed banne peksha they have not been there now okay so tyamoy kay hote ki now the river has a scope to spread and during this uh, it can move in a zigzag manner okay and that the zigzag manner flow of a river is called as a meandering the name is came from meandering okay yala meandering manta ha landform vagare kay nahi पण हा एक मिडल कोर्स मधल एक कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर आहे रिव्हरच ओके द नेम हॅज बीन द नेम हॅज बीन कम फ्रॉम दी द रिव्हर दॅट वॉज फ्लोईंग इन टर्की विच वॉज नेम ऍज मिएंडर मिएंडर वॉज अ रिव्हर ओके वी शोड दिस कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर अँड नाव दॅट कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर इज बीन अप्लाईड टू ऑल द रिव्हर्स विच शो दिस कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ओके टर्की मध्ये एक रिव्हर होती दॅट इज इट्स नेम वॉज मिएंडर ओके इट्स नेम इज मिएंडर विच वॉज शोईंग दिस कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर and it was later on applied to the other rivers also so meandering is a characteristic feature of a river try to understand okay and it is not any landform or it is neither a erosional landform or neither a depositional landform but it is a characteristic feature of a river what this hmm? so please understand the meandering is a characteristic feature okay okay but once this meander get acute okay jasa jasa ek ta रिव्हर एक तर फ्लॅट सर्फेस वर यायला लागते तसं तसं एक तर दिस रिव्हर ओके सुरुवातीला ती अशी इट फ्लोज इन दिस मॅनर बट इट टेक्स अ व्हेरी अक्युट मेंडरिंग शेप ओके अक्युट वॅन दी रिव्हर इज बीन कम्प्लिटली ओके so what happened is that during just to tell you but here uh, before uh, uh, i will go to this uh, formation of oxbow lake i will like to tell you uh, during the meandering stage let me tell you during the meandering the two important activities are being carried out okay during the meandering stage the two activities in the in the rivers that is been carried out okay suppose this is the river okay this is the river okay so, suppose this is a river that is flowing in this manner this is a river okay these are the two banks okay so what activity is carried out in the man, uh, in this in the meandering process or in the meandering stage what is that that at the one bank where this river strike the river water strike the walls of the banks okay the tools that are striking on the banks of the river they try to suppose this is an a bank is there and suppose this is a b bank is there okay so at the a banks here what the banks will get eroded okay the bank walls will get eroded okay this here the erosional activity will happen means what that on the uh, we can say on the convex uh, convex side on the convex sides at erosional activity will happen will give rise to an another type of landform which is called as a river cliff which is called as a river cliff what this it is called as a river cliff and on the whatever the weather material which is been eroded from this bank they will get deposited over here they will get deposited over here and we give rise to a another landform that is called as a that is called as a 
slip of snow slip of snow okay so at the a region where erosion activity is there here the slope of the bank will be steep one at the a where the erosional activity is more the slope of the bank manje tumhi jab zameen ne orun jasa nadi madhe utarna the steep slope asna direct ekta khali jana okay but where if you move from this on the from the land surface towards the river banks from here the slope will be gentle and you can easily move towards the to the uh, river sides okay so here the two important uh, land from uh, at the banks of the river that has been formed the river cliff and the slip of slopes okay where the erosional activity is there predominant in the, at the one bank side at the convex shape there the erosional activity is more predominant okay and this has given rise to river cliffs okay river cliffs and where the sorry the depositional activity is there it has given rise to slip of slope where the, the slope will be gentle one so you should be in a position to see it. where is a slip of slope and where is a river क्लिप्स आ गया, ओके। सगे कड़े तेज होइल, इतना पन एक ता रिवर क्लिप होइल, इकड़ा पन एक ता रिवर क्लिप होइल, इतना क्या होइल, स्लिप ऑफ स्लोप, इकड़ा पन स्लिप ऑफ स्लोप होइल। सो वन बैंक इज़ गेटिंग इरोडेड एंड द अदर बैंक इज़ गेटिंग डिपॉजिटेड, ओके। ठीक है, द कॉन्वेक्स साइड विल बी गेट the meander as this meander take an acute shape the river as it take an acute shape manje the meandering karte okay this river which was initially flowing in this manner okay now suppose it take an acute shape manje this is an acute shape of a river suppose okay again the next stage is that such an acute that the two banks sorry the two banks okay they meet each others okay they meet each others and later on and later on the river start flowing in a linear manner in a straight manner okay so the cut off part of the the cut off part of the meandering the river the cut off part of the river this cut off part okay this cut off part of a river which was a one uh, one time it was a part or it was a meandering part which get cut off okay which is filled with the water and some sediments okay this is called as a oxbow lake the cut off part of the remainder uh, meandering river is called as an oxbow lake for temporarily it is filled with the water as the wa water get evaporated okay it has been the remnant part of a river and it, the water that has been filled with it is called as an oxbow lake okay so oxbow lake tyar kaise hota so when the two banks of one is a matlab ki kinare kabhi tumne kabhi ek to nadi ke kinaron ko jodte hue dekha hai ke ha bolna dekha hai bolna oxbow lake tyar hote hue dekha hai okay so that is it ki do kinare milte nahi aisa kai nahi do kinare milte when it is an acute type of meandering that takes place okay and the two uh, banks they get fused okay but the fused part after that it has been separated and the river start once again flowing in a linear manner okay pude ti ek to linear manner madhe ek to flow hote but the remnant that is the that is the redundant part or the abandoned part sorry the abandoned part which is filled with the water is called as an oxbow lake okay fine so fine any doubts हेमक हेलो यस एज आई टोल यू हाउ डज दे गेट दिस मैंडरिंग प्रोसेस एज आई टोल यू दिस मैंडरिंग प्रोसेस इफ इट इज बीन जस्ट मीन आई विल रब इट आउट ओके सी इफ दिस मैंडरिंग प्रोसेस सपोज दिस इज अ मैंडरिंग इज दैट ओके इफ इट इज कंटिन्यूस एंड द रिवर गेट वेरी स्लगिश ओके where the topography is very much flat the uh, the river are very much flat and it, the river becomes the river becomes more sluggish so it tries to move in a zigzag manner and if this zigzag manner get acute if the zigzag manner get acute a time will come 
a time will come when the two banks will join to each other manje ha asa asa joint hote ito joint hote okay ito in joint hote nantar ma kya hote itun pude nantar ma te river it start flowing in a zigzag manner but this cut off part this abandon part act which is filled with water for some period temporarily this is filled with water it's called as an oxbow lake jo parant pani asto tyacha to parant oxbow lake banun to ek to tayar asto the sediments that have been filled with it okay nantar ma te river ek to pude ek to it flow in a straight manner or the linear manner okay pan to jo abandoned part asto temporarily which is temporarily it is getting filled with water to to jo part asto that is the ramadan part of a river of the mandar river is called as an oxbow lake to tya vesh hota pratyek river asa dakhote acute ki mandarin dakhote asa kani kai nahi okay jithe ek acute mandarin hote acute mandarin manje kay ki stage come when the two rivers sorry two rivers manto when the river join its both the banks okay tya vesh hote oxbow lakes we will try to see it out okay what this now hmm ओके फाइन ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट दी ऑक्सबो लाइक ओके देन एज अ टोल यू लेट मी टेल यू द रिवर सपोज दिस इज अ रिवर इज दैट दिस इज अ बैंक ऑफ अ रिवर दिस आर दिस दी एलिवेटेड पार्ट्स ऑफ अ रिवर आर कॉल्ड एज अ बैंक ऑफ अ रिवर ओके ओके एंड रिवर इज फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम दिस in within the banks okay river always for mean means in a normal uh, season normal season manje ka unna ani evala madhe river flow within the bank but when there is a rainy season okay when there is a rainy rainy season that time what happens the water level of the the volume of the water get increased and the even the water level of the river get increased okay what will happen as the river it is which was flowing within the bank during the rainy season it will cross the bank it will cross the bank and will flow above the banks okay which we call it as a floods okay manje tya vas apan mante pur ala bo nadi next so but what will happen that which is over flooding uh, the banks okay what will happen as soon as the rain, as soon as the uh, volume of the water get decreased okay so once again the river come to its normal course okay what happened but that when the river was over flooding that time it carries with it the sediments which get deposited okay sir uh, at the either sides of the banks on the either sides of the banks the river the loads or the sediments get deposited okay which later on are called as a flood plains they are called as a flood plains these are the very rich and rich nutrients regions uh, where the fertility is high okay because during every season these flood plains are enriched with the nutrients or there is a supply of nutrients that takes place okay the flood plain manje kay that when whenever uh, whenever the river has experience a flood during the rainy seasons it overflow its banks okay but as soon as the volume of the water decreases one second it comes to its normal course but during that time when it, before Uh, coming to its normal course it deposits the sediments on the either sides of the banks which we call it as a flood plains okay at the same time at the same time at the bank it deposits it also deposit and give rise to a elevated part at the bank side which are called as a natural bluffs they are called as a natural levees they are also called as a natural levees or natural bluff or natural levees okay so these are the deposition see now just try to understand flood plains are of deposition type of landforms natural levees are the natural levees these are the elevated deposit uh, sediments that have been deposited it is an elevated highlands on the both the banks of river formed due to deposition of the river okay that are called as a natural levees okay they are also called as a natural levees one second natural levees also a depositional depositional landform is there okay and the last one which is here is the before reaching the rivers okay before reaching the river suppose this is a sea level is there 
before reaching the river uh, before reaching the sea sorry the river before reaching the sea it becomes so the uh, the lands uh, the landform or this uh, what we call it as the gradient or the slope of a landform is so sluggish it is completely flat actually before reaching the it completely flash that the river becomes very much sluggish okay and any hurdle any hurdle coming in front of it will leads to division of the stream main stream division of the streams okay division of the streams the main stream kya hote it get divided into a several streams okay the division of this main stream into a several stream is called as the distributaries they are called as the distributaries manje tributaries manje kay those rivers that joins the main river are called as the tributaries and distributaries means but when the main river get divided into several streams distributes okay such a streams are called as the distributes distributaries hugli is a distributary stream of river ganga ji apan hugli river mantu na hugli river ji west bengal madhe ti ek to kona chi ek to the main it is a it is a distributary distributary kona chi tar ganga river chi distributary manje ganga river ne nantar distribute jali ani tyachatli ek river ji jali manje ti manje hugli river okay so hugli is a distributary of distributary stream of river ganga is there okay so why because as the river could not yeah the the uh, yeah this slope of the land is very much gentle or flat it is completely flat and river do not have a capacity to erode mainly it start depositing okay and the river which is flowing and depositing a material has given rise to a important land form which we call is as a triangular shape if uh, generally it may be a triangular or any shape but it has given rise to a another before joining this uh, before joining the sea it has given rise to a another land form which is called as a delta when the river get uh, turns into a braided channel braided channel manje kay several stream ane tyancha madhe ek ek deposition hot jata that is called as a braided channel okay so it is giving rise to a another landform we call it as a delta delta manje ha ek the greco delta manje triangular shape madhe ek to tayar hote that's why it is called as a delta so delta is an another form of landform that has been formed is a depositional landform that has been formed due to river okay got this so these are the landforms that are being created by the delta ata yachat veg ek prakar ke delta se do okay ata del if it is a triangular shape or it is a arcuate shape arc type when they are arc type it is called as an arcuate delta okay when it is of fan shape or it is uh, just uh, fan shape the rachel okay because fan shape or triangle shape it is called as an arcuate delta the main stream is dividing into a bird like foot the uh, division okay manje pakshi cha paya sarkha jar to delta create kasha je tya vela tela bird foot delta matta बर्ड फूट डेल्टा ओके आर्क्युएट डेल्टा चे एक्साम्पल दया तो गंगा रिवर आर्क्युएट डेल्टा ओके गंगा रिवर इज देर नाइल इट इज अल रिवर इज देर ओके आर्क्युएट डेल्टा मेकॉन्ग रिवर इज देर दीज आर बेसिकली फॉर्म ड्यू और ऑफ आर्क्युएट टाइप आर्क्युएट टाइप इट इज कॉल्ड और फैन शेप ओके फैन शेप कि आर्क्युएट डेप आर्क्युएट डेल्टा पनता म्हणजे डेल्टा रिव्हर म्हणजे जसं जर आर्क फॉर्म मध्ये जर डेल्टा तयार होत असेल दिस इन दी आर्क फॉर्म सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज अन आर्क्युएट और फाइन शेप डेल्टा त्याचे कोणी तयार केलेले असे डेल्टा तर गंगा रिव्हरने तयार केले नाईल रिव्हर बर्ड फूट डेल्टाचं एक्झाम्पल जर द्यायचं झालं विच हॅज क्रिएटेड अ बर्ड फूट टाईप शेप ऑफ अ डेल्टा सो इट इज अ मिसिसिपी रिव्हर मिसिसिपी मिसिसिपी मिझोरी द कंबाइन स्ट्रीम of this has given rise to in usa it is which is draining into gulf of mexico so this has given rise to a bird foot delta okay mississippi missouri okay then the third type of delta which is issuant type issuant means what issuant type that river do not deposit any 
there is no any uh, significant amount of deposition that has uh, taken place before joining the sea and it directly drains the river directly drains into a river so the delta that is being created is of issuant type and the uh, the rivers that has been of such type of deltas are narmada in india it is narmada tapi okay they are giving rise to a issuant type of delta is there okay and in the, in the world it is the amazon river ob river it is in uh, europe in italy okay and vistula river these are giving rise to issuant type of delta the fourth is cuspid type because of their shapes okay fan shape arcuate type bird foot shape it is a issuant means what without any significant deposit the, the river is directly getting drained into a sea or oceans okay that is called as issuant and cuspid delta means a, a tooth shape delta tooth shape tooth shape delta data cha shape tar asto na tooth shape delta is called as a cuspid delta okay the ex classic example of cuspid delta is river ebro ebro river okay that is the river ebro is forming a cuspid delta so these are the importance of uh, these are the various types of delta that are being created okay ye kadhi kadhi tumhala prashna vicharu shaktat ki aquate delta cha konte example hai बर्ड फूड डेल्टा चो एक्साम्पल है इश्यूराइन डेल्टा चो एक्साम्पल है ओके कस्पेट डेल्टा चो उदाहरण है ओके सो यू शुड बी इन अ पोजिशन टू यूर ओके एंड द लास्ट ओके सो नाउ दीज आर दी वेरियस लैंडफॉर्म दैट आर बी क्रिएटेड बाय दी रिवर्स ओके वन सेकेंड वी विल रिवाइज इट ओके नर मन यस बिफोर दैट रिविजन बिफोर रिवाइजन i will tell you what are the condition what delta condition for delta formation condition ka asta condition for delta formation delta tayar hone sathi konta hi arcuate asu dya cuspid asu dya whatever what is the condition for delta formation so there are several condition the first condition is that active vertical active vertical vertical and horizontal and horizontal erosion in upper course in upper course upper course should happen should happen why because डेल्टा आर फॉर्म फ्रॉम दी सेडिमेंट्स जे डिपोजिशनल सेडिमेंट जे ओके जर तुम्हें एक जर सेडिमेंट्स प्रोवाइड के लिए डेल्टा फॉर्मेशन सा तो होल का सो दैट्स वाई एक्टिव वर्टिकल एंड हॉरिजेंटल इरोशन शुड बी देर इन अ लार्ज अमाउंट सो दैट द रिवर कैन कैरी दी लोड एंड कैन डिपोजिट एट दी माउथ ऑफ अ रिवर टू गिव राइज टू अ डेल्टा ओके फाइन सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट इम्पॉर्टंट कंडीशन इरोजन शुड बी देर इन जनरल वॉट वी कैन से इरोजन शुड बी देर सेकेंड the coast where the river delta is formed it should be tideless 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 manje kai tides je asta you know the manje apan ne mante na bharti aauti okay bharti ete samudra la kiwa aauti hote tar bharti aauti yayla nako oi the river coast the river where the river that is flowing to its coast manje ja coast la the river flow hote it should be tideless manje tithe bharti aauti nako yala ka tacha karan asa sangto जेव्हा भरती आली सो सपोज देर इज अन हाय टाइड इज देअर व्हॉट एव्हर द मटेरियल इट हॅज बीन डिपॉझिट बाय द रिव्हर द हाय टाइड विल इरोड दॅट मटेरियल अँड विल टेक विथ इट ओके अँड टेक विथ इट टेक विथ इट सो दॅट सो व्हॉट एव्हर द डिपॉझिशन मटेरियल दॅट हॅज बीन क्रिएटेड बाय द रिव्हर ऍट द कोस्ट द हाय टाइड विल रिमूव्ह दॅट मटेरियल विथ इट ओके सो दॅट्स वाय इट शुड बी अ टाइडलेस ओके टाइडलेस कोस्ट शुड बी देअर थर्ड there should be the joining means the sea the river should join the sea the river or the coast where the river is joining the sea should be of shallow type the depth of the the coast 
where sorry the coast coast where the river where the river joining joining the sea or oceans should be of shallow type shallow type this is very uh, important why because before joining the if the uh, if the coast is shallow one the river has a chance or they have a uh, means they can deposit their material before joining the sea or the ocean and will fill up this material with the deltaic form okay they will give rise to a deltaic form but if suppose if this is a river and if if this is a sea over oh, this is a sea suppose this is a sea level is there suppose this is a sea level the whatever the river whatever the material it carries suppose ek don udaharan deto manje tumhala samjel okay suppose first example is suppose this river is draining okay and this is a sea level is there okay this is a sea level is there okay and this is the coast is there okay this is following this coast and suppose this is a sea level is there okay so whatever the river that uh, the ray the river that when it, before joining the sea this will get deposited as it is a shallow coast is there it a shallow coast asle mo itun suruvat hoil and it will get deposited giving rise to a delta form but if suppose this is a landscape is there where the river has to drain okay what will happen now whatever this river when it drains it will directly fall okay without any deposition and the whatever the material it has been brought with it till now it will get deposited on the sea floors without giving rise to a delta okay so that that is the reason that is a, this statement talks about it that the coast where the river joins the sea ocean it should be a shallow one okay so this is important then the another is that there should be no any large lake no large lake present in the course of a river there should be no any large lake or the body lake body there should be not any depression body that should be present in the course of a river why because if there is a large lake suppose this is a river is there okay and there is a depression is there suppose the river is flowing from the depression okay what will happen okay this depression which is fill up with the water okay what will happen the river will deposit most of its material over here only and it can carry very few amount of material with it okay and any deposition side the delta side ka paaje large amount of material should be there and jar ekta him body jar water body e yacha te ekta te deposition karun takel tar delta formation hoil ka pude ma nahi ka so that is the that is a reason okay so there should be no large lake present in large water body that should be present in the course of a river okay and the last one is that no the coast should be free from free from the strong ocean currents the coast okay the coast where the delta is from the coast should be should be free from strong ocean currents free from strong ocean currents okay what is this these are the ocean current means what these are the moving water bodies that are be moving okay and if it is a strong one the whatever same like a tides okay whatever the um, uh, material that is been deposited at the coast the ocean current will drive it out okay it will drive it out okay it will erode that material and there will be no formation of delta so these are the conditions okay the tenne the vichala samjha what are the conditions for formation of delta so you should be in a position to write it to identify it okay mpsc madhe kay active vertical and horizontal erosion pai gele tideless coast pai gele uh coast jo pai gele to shallow depth cha pai gele no large lake bodies in the course of river and the no strong current should be there at the coastal side so these are the conditions for the formation of delta got this anushka so these are the okay so now one second we will revise only what are the erosional and the depositional features now you will tell me first of all which are, just tell me right from uh, upper coast to the coast which are the erosional landform that have been formed by the rivers okay you tell me now 
okay we will we will revise okay just revise what are the erosional landforms that have been formed erosional landform by the rivers okay which are those yes the first one is anushka yes yes valleys very good valleys v shape valleys that can be canyons or gorges okay this is first one second yes rapids or cataracts cataracts very good these are all are erosional third one is very good waterfalls very good potholes very good again plunge pool very good plunge pools then very river terraces very good river terraces then yes river terraces are there river cliffs river cliffs sangitle hote na river cliffs jo are meandering karta asta tya vela ek erosional activity aste na river cliff is there it is an erosional activity okay fine hmm? now tell me the depositional activities now tell me depositional activities what are the depositional landforms sorry activity one the depositional landforms by river okay very good no sagat pehle jar apan alo tar te manje alluvial fans and alluvial cones barobar ka alluvial fans and alluvial cones at the foothills of okay then you have oxbow lakes are there they have been they have kept in a deposition form ka karan te the oxbow lake water barbo je sediments aste na the sediments pan ekta te takun dila so that's why it is called as the depositional form okay hmm oxbow lake third then yes natural levee is very good natural levee is then you have flood plains very good flood plains are there and you have a delta and you have another that is slip of slope slip of slope madhe deposition hote ki nahi okay so these are the several uh, landforms that are formed from the deposition and the erosional activity of a river okay so if you have any doubt you can raise otherwise we will stop here ओके प्लीज चेक आता तू एक जाऊन फिर क्वेश्चन पेपर आता अपने टाइम नहीं मगर क्वेश्चन पेपर बुलाते बरचे कोर्स मे को मिडिल कोर्स मे का होके लोअर कोर्स मे मेनली एक डिपोजिशनल फीचर्स नहीं का चलो ठीक है फिर स्टॉप हो भैया ओके